Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use time tickets to record the time spent performing activities by employees and vendors. You can record information for many days or for a single day by using either one of the two different windows that are provided for time ticket entry. If you prefer to enter detailed notes about a single day, you may prefer to use the time tickets window. If you wish to enter activity for several days, then you may prefer to use the weekly timesheet window. Regardless of which window you enter data into, Note that you can view time tickets that have been entered into one window through the other window as well. These two windows simply provide two different views of the same time ticket data that's entered into the Sage 50 company file by the users. To enter a single time ticket, you would select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to the Time and Expense command, and then choose Time Tickets. That will then display the time tickets window. To enter multiple time tickets into a weekly time sheet, you would select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to Time and Expense, and then choose the Weekly Time Sheet command. In either window, you begin by selecting whether the time ticket that you will enter is for an employee or a vendor by choosing the desired option button. Then select the specific employee or vendor for whom you are recording the ticket by using the drop-down that appears below the Option button. Next, if you're using the Weekly Timesheet view, ensure that you're viewing the correct week for time ticket entry. You can use the Week Including drop-down to select a day within the week that you would like to enter time tickets for. Also note that you can use the previous week and next week buttons to select a week for time ticket entry. The days within that week will then be displayed in the grid below. Next you need to select the purpose of the time ticket entry from the To Be Applied drop-down that appears within the Time Tickets window. You can select either To a Customer Invoice against a job or as an administrative task from the drop-down. Note that this drop-down in the time tickets window corresponds to the same drop-down for customer slash job slash administrative that appears within the weekly timesheet window. Note that if you select either the customer or job options then use the adjacent drop-down to select either the customer or job for which the ticket is being recorded. If entering a time ticket through the time tickets window, you can select the date to record from the time details area. Next, in either window, you then enter the activity item that identifies the type of timed activity to be recorded. Then for the time tickets window, you enter the duration of the selected activity item into the time details section. If using the weekly timesheet, Note that you can enter the same durations into the boxes provided for each day that's shown. Note that if the timed activity recorded within the ticket is for an employee, you can also select a pay level that's associated with the employee record. Note that the employee must be paid by time tickets when the employee record is created in order to accomplish this. If the time recorded is for a customer or job, you can also select a billing type for the ticket. You can also enter a billable rate if needed for future customer billing. You can then set the billing status for the ticket. When you're finished recording your time data, just click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of either window to save the time ticket. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.